Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I know what you're thinking. Don't, don't say it, just think it. I look crazy. Yes, I know I look crazy because I don't have my brows done. This is the power of brows. Brows will change your life forever. Not exaggerating, and they will. They just kind of frame your face, and I think brows are a very important part. That, you know guys, it's 2017, and people are still aren't doing their brows, and I mean, not, I'm not saying that's bad, but I feel like you should just fill them in just a little bit, even if you don't want to do all these steps and, you know, do what I'm going to do or show you what I do for my brow routine. But I think you should just fill them in a little bit. It will really change your makeup look. And I feel like it makes you younger, look younger too, because right now I kind of look old because my eyebrows, they need a little bit of shaping, a little bit of more color and dimension. So eyebrows can make you look younger, actually. So not to toot my own horn, but... I always get compliments on my brows now. People always ask me, where do you get your brows done? You're out my house. Ain't no one got time to be driving to get your eyebrows done just for the little Asian lady to mess them up. Ain't no one got time for that. And I feel like people don't know you. People don't know like what kind of brow you want. Who knows what kind of brow that you want better than yourself? Yourself. So I think it's just better to do them at home and I don't know, you can experiment with them and I don't know, I think it's just easier that way. And plus you can save like $10, right? Is that how much a brow wax costs? I don't even know because I've never been. Never let anyone else touch my brows because I have trust issues. So if you want to get your eyebrows from looking like this to this and you want them to be fleeky, wait, is fleeky still a thing? People say, still say I'm fleek? I don't know, if you just want good brows, then just keep on watching guys. I don't know if you can tell from how far we are from each other, but I haven't done my brows in a week and a half because I want to show y'all every little step that I do. I trim my brows sometimes, I obviously tweeze them, I shape them, and stuff like that. So what you are going to need to achieve a nice brow is, of course, tweezers. I have these tweezers from the Tweezer Man, and there's like this lantern one and this little really pointy one. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry so I got these from Sephora and they just they came together and they're actually pretty expensive but you need a good set of tweezers and they're gonna last you a long time if you keep up with them I've had these probably for a year now so yeah tweezers are a must and, and when they come in a pack like this you should always get them this one is very very handy 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 for getting those little hairs that are just kind of thick and not not long enough yet to get them with this tweezer. These are very helpful and also when you get splinter, they're very helpful for that. So yeah, tweezers guys, a must. Little scissors. I don't know where I got these. I've had them for a very long time. You might want to trim a couple of hairs. There's sometimes little stranglers that you don't want to tweeze out because it kind of forms a shape of your brow, but they're too long or doing something crazy. So you want tweezers, or tweezers, scissors for that. Your brow product, I personally love the brow pomade because it lasts a long time. It just, I don't know, gives you a bold brow. If you're a beginner, I would recommend using a powder. I feel like powders are very uh, beginner friendly or a pencil. Just use whatever you're comfortable with or, or whatever you use on a daily basis. And of course, if you're using a pomade, you're going to want the little brush. I have this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's a number seven brush. I'm not sure, but guys, I will have everything linked down below. I hardly do that, but I will for this video. So this one has a slanted brush on the end and a spoolie on this side. And if you don't have this, if you're using like a pencil, you don't have one of these, make sure that you use a spoolie or that you have a spoolie so that you can brush out your eyebrows because this is a really good tool for that as well. I know that like if you're a beginner, you're like, okay, Tanya, like, cool, you're showing me how you do your brows, but I don't know how to get my perfect shape or I don't know how to shape my brows. Anastasia Beverly Hills has these little stencils and they come in a pack of like four. Let me go find them so I can show you like all the different brows that you can achieve with this little pack. So we have a petite arch. I don't know if you can see, like how do, how do I show you this? It's a pretty thin brow. Then you have your slim high arch. Very similar to the petite, but it's a little bit more slim. And then you have your high arch. This one's kind of like the one I'm going to use. I use I use this one, which is the full arch. It's very thick and has an arch. Then you have your medium arch. 
And I think that's it. Five stencils that come in this pack. And of course, you're not going to use all of these. So maybe like if you have a couple of friends and you'll have different eyebrows, like y'all can like split it, you know, three ways or something. It comes with all of these little stencils. They're very handy. Now, I don't use these all the time, but I find that sometimes I lose the shape of my brow and I'm like, why the heck can I not get my brows to look the same? Why? Why God? What did I do? I'm like, why? But these are kind of in handy because... It just, it's a stencil, so what you do over here, you can do over here. Easy peasy. And you're also going to need a little mirror. I don't want to blind you, but this one magnifies 12 times. And these are very crucial. I feel like this really can step up your eyebrow game because you can get every little hair. And you don't have to keep up with them as much because I feel like when I don't use this mirror, I have to do my eyebrows at least twice a week. And that's another thing guys if you're gonna go get your if you get your eyebrows done and you're like Ugh, like I always lose my shape girl it's because you're not maintaining them like in between you know I have to do my eyebrows at least once a week or, or twice a week if I don't use this mirror because whenever you don't use this mirror all those little hairs that you can't see with the regular mirror are gonna grow and so like you might think like yeah I just did my eyebrows like three days ago but now they're they grow back they grew back so fast it's because there was little hairs in the process of growing but you didn't see them with just your regular handheld mirror so a magnifying mirror like this is really going to be helpful and this one even has a light which is amazing it's, it helps a lot ooh yeah this close-up thank you gotta do these eyebrows ASAP so I'm gonna zoom y'all in just so y'all can see like better and y'all can see my eyebrows a little better and be like, girl, you need your eyebrows done real quick. Okay, so I hope I can really stay in focus. Whenever I zoom in this close, it's, I only have like a certain amount of space where I can like come in and out. So I hope I can stay in focus. Sorry if I'm a little out of focus sometimes. So before I do anything, I always go in and get all the hairs that I know do not belong. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but like, ooh, what is this? Concealer? I don't know. Okay, so like if, if y'all can see like there's all these little hairs around here Obviously, that's not part of my eyebrow shape So I'm gonna start by tweezing those out and I'm using my little angled tweezer and of course my mirror That's gonna let me see everything And I'm gonna brush this eyebrow out a little bit okay and I already know for a fact just because I already know my eyebrows and I've been doing this for a long time that I'm gonna need to trim the top of my brows but I'm not gonna do it yet just because I want to show y'all how y'all can know if you need to trim your brows or not so I know right now that I'm going to need to trim like right here and right here because my eyebrows grow really long there I don't know why the next step is obviously I'm not done yet but I just kind of got all of the little hairs that I know do not belong, but as close right here, like I got really close to my eyebrows and there's these little hairs that maybe they'll belong, I don't know, we'll see. So what I would do next is fill in my brows, you, like I said, you can use whatever you use, so I use the, the pomade, I use the pomade, I just fill them in how I want them to look like. Now if you don't know, like, you do have an image but you don't know how to execute it, this is when the stencils will come in handy. So I'm going to do the full arch and how you can kind of measure what arch you're going to be if you buy this little kit. First, you want to create three points and the first point is going to be your arch and how you find your arch or if you don't have an arch and you want an arch, what you do is you're going to get like a pencil or you can use your little brush and you're going to look straight forward and you're gonna place the pencil on the outside of your eye and make sure that it goes to like the center, like your pupil, and that's where you are going to place your arch. So I'm gonna start at the center and then bring it to the side of my nose and look straight forward and this is where my arch is. And I already have an arch there, so for me, I don't even need to do that step anymore because this is my arch right here. But like I said, if you don't have an arch, this is how you can find your arch. My arch is pretty dominant, so I know where it is. And then the next point that you wanna do is look straight forward again and put the uh, pencil or whatever you have, the side of the nose, like so, so here. 
And this is where your eyebrow is going to start. And mine pretty much starts there already. And then the last point is going to be where your arch or your arch, where your brow ends. So usually I just kind of map it out. So it's going to be from like the side of your nose, corner of your eye, like this. So I don't know if you can see that, like that. Right there. And it pretty much ends there already. So I'll, I'm not going to mark it because that's where it ends. And then other side too. This works if you have like shorter brows. This is how you can find your um, ending point. So here, my nose, cord my nose, corner of my eye. Hold on, this is hard. There you go. And mine pretty much ends there as well. So those are the three points that you want to have for using these little stencils. Or even if you don't have these stencils, you can do this as well to know where your arch and where you should end your brow. I am the full arch, and as you can see, hold on, it's hard. I um, have like a handheld mirror, so it's kind of hard to hold the, this little thing and the mirror at the same time, and trying to stay in focus. So, so when I apply this stencil, my brow pretty much fits here, and this is the brow that I want. I could maybe use the medium stencil. Yeah, my eyebrow definitely fits into the medium stencil, but I want my eyebrow to be a little bit more thicker, so that's what I'm gonna use the full arch. So that's what you would do. You, you're going to place this little corner right here on the arch where you made that mark onto the, the mark that you did for your arch. And guys, this is a funny thing I see people do. They use these stencils and they fill them all the way in. No, do not fill them all the way in. Like I said, that's why you make those marks so you know where to fill in. What I mean by that, look at the tail. Look how far... I don't know, I'm going to focus. So look at the tail, look how far away it extends from where I need to extend it. Just because it has it right here does not mean to like fill in your eyebrow all the way down here. You're going to look ridiculous or if you like that look, more power to you girl. But yeah, just because it ends right here does not mean to end it all the way down here. That's why you made the marks because you know where to start and where to stop. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on my brow. This is going to be really hard to do because... Ugh, it's hard to hold this and see at the same time. Like this. And you're just gonna fill it in. I'm sorry guys, but I'm not gonna be able to show you this part because um, technical difficulties pretty much. I have to be looking down at my mirror. And if I look down, you're not gonna be able to see and it's gonna be out of focus. So I'm just gonna sh do a couple, couple of little strokes and then I'll show you what I did. I'll explain it to you. Okay, so I filled in the top part. And what you can also do is you can just create lines and then fill it in. So it looks crazy, but it's just pretty much just like mapping out your shape. And then you can go back in and fix it. So pretty much have the shape that I want. I'm going to brush it out because I don't want too much product. And I'm just going to start filling it in. Okay, see, so I pretty much have half of my brow done. Now, I'm gonna just shade in this part right here. And there, I have this brow done. I'm gonna do my other one off camera and then I'll show y'all the next step. Okay, so I just wanna show y'all something real quick. I don't know if y'all can see, but like right underneath here, there's some little hairs that do not belong in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze them out. And it's these little hairs right here. That's why the stencil comes in handy because you can see what hairs you need to tweeze out and what which ones need to stay. And also these little hairs all down here, I don't know if you can see, they do not belong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tweeze those out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fix my brows a little bit more because they're not quite the shape that I want them. Okay, my eyebrows are looking like chodes right now. It's okay. Whenever you're doing this, whenever you're shaping your brows, they can look a little crazy for a whole second. So, like I mentioned earlier, there's these little hairs right here that are kind of like stick up more than the rest of my brows. So I'm gonna trim them. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if I'm zoomed in enough so y'all can see that. I'm just going to trim them a little bit. And 
And then there's these little hairs that are sticking out. So I definitely applied a lot of product. I don't know, got a little crazy today. So I'm just gonna kind of brush it out, hoping that the brush will pick some of that up. So now that we have pretty much have the shape down, I'm gonna go back in with the little mirror. And now I'm going to really clean everything up because now I have the shape that I want and I know where not to tweeze. So get your little mirror and just tweeze everything else that does not belong. So now that I went in with that <clears throat> zoomed in mirror, I'm going to get just like a, any handheld mirror and look at it from far away and just see how my eyebrows look because sometimes you get too focused on the little mirror and you kind of need to back away from it a little bit and see how it's going to look like in real life, you know, without being magnified. And then like right here, this is looking, this right here is looking a little weird. So I'm just going to kind of clean that up with some pomade and define that line a little bit more. So that is pretty much it guys. Now if you're one of those people who like to clean around your eyebrows, you can go ahead and do that. But this is how I tweeze, trim, shape my brows. And I also forgot to mention guys, to get that kind of fade effect, you want to concentrate the most product on the end. So that's kind of what I did. As y'all saw, I started like halfway towards the end and I applied product and then whatever with whatever was left, I went into the inside. But also if you find that you apply too much product, you can just kind of brush it out and it will take some products out. See, so it looks like it's fading from the front and getting darker to the back. So this is the finished brow look, guys. I hope that you learned something new and guys, I look different, right? Like I look a little bit more young, a little bit, I don't know, just brows just really frame your face and they're really important, like I said before, even if you don't do all these steps, just kind of fill them in a little bit with some brow powder and it's going to change your look. Now, what I didn't mention, I don't think I mentioned is like, yes, I was using this little magnified mirror for whenever I was tweezing everything and really like shaping my brow. But um, whenever I was using the stencil and like filling it in, I wasn't using this because it's kind of hard. You'll see if you try. Like I was just using this handheld mirror here. Also guys, whenever you do your eyebrows at home, make sure that you're keeping up with them. By that, I mean like maintaining them. So like today, what is today? Today is Thursday, I think. And so probably maybe like Sunday afternoon, I'll go ahead and just get my tweezers and kind of tweeze out the hairs and then maybe in a week or a Wednesday like it just depends it depends on how fast your hair grows just kind of make sure that you keep keep up with them so then you don't lose your shape and you don't have to go through this stencil process again if you do use the stencil like I don't even use this this stencil because I know what my eyebrow look needs to look like but if you don't really know how to go about it and use the stencil, make sure you keep up with them so you don't have to keep pulling out the stencil and it's just, it's just more work, guys. So yeah, um, don't forget to like this video if you like this video. Comment down below on what you want to see next. Subscribe. Let me just give, me like, give you like three seconds to subscribe real quick. Okay. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.